So uh, let us be continuing the same topic here of the last video, which we discussed in the previous class. So here we are considering a wire of length L. So where the force is being applied of some mass M, where force is equal to mass into gravity. G means gravity, which is acting in the wrong direction. So I have written here. Length L means length of the wire. R means radius of the wire. Okay. Now, according to the definition of this Hinge modulus, we can write here as Y is equal to tensile stress. Tensile stress is defined as the force acting on the body per unit area is called as this tensile stress is F by A. So, in the last class we discussed in the previous videos, we can go through those videos where I have defined you the stress, types of stress, normal stress, again in normal stress we are having the tensile stress and the compressive stress. Tensile stress where there will be elongation, increase in the length. Compressive stress means where the decrease in the length of the wire. So, stress can be, tensile stress can be different as F by A. And next, it is longitudinal strain. Longitudinal strain means change in length. So, what is our change in length? It is delta L divided by original length. As the definition of the longitudinal strain, it defines that the ratio of change in length to the original length is called as longitudinal strain. So, that's what we are writing like this. So, here y is equal to, I can write this as f by a into l by delta l. So F, F is how much? Mg. Force is M into G into L. L is the length. Area. Area means of this wire. So area of cross section of the wire can be written as pi r square into delta L. So I am writing here. This A is equal to what? Area of cross section of the wire. So R here indicates that the radius of the wire. So area can be written as pi r square. So y is equal to m into g into l divided by pi r square. So this will be our Hain's modulus here. Okay. So for Hain's modulus, the SI unit is SI unit is SI unit is that is Newton per meter square. Okay. And the dimensional formula is also same. There is one in mass minus one in length minus two in height. So this is what in today's class we discussed the one, the first type of elastic model line that is Hain's modulus. Okay. So in the next class we will discuss the other types of that is elastic model line. Thank you, students.